Hey everyone, it's another exciting PSA return day to me because this time round there's uh, again some rare cards which I'm eagerly waiting and I'm talking about serious rare type so it's it's the uh, recent uh, $50 sub I think I can't remember what I paid for it um, came back within two and a half months, three months. So this one, I've got a pair of cards there which are seriously nice and rare. So I'm hoping to get some good grades out of these. Let's uh, make a start and find out what I got from these. So this one, this time is just a small sub review, not a big one, unlike the past couple of times where I've got a lot of stuff in the boxes and all that. So this one is just a smaller one. Wait, 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 wait. I don't want to review anything. It's... Okay, okay, safe. Safe. Got a packet? Yeah, I did. I participated in the box break of a Chrome, Tops Chrome Series 2. Seriously expensive, <laughs> but I'll share some of this later. Okay. Let's take this out. Wait, uh, let me make sure that. Uh, yep, it's okay. Okay. Let's make a start. As you can see, today's stack is not very big. It's only uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 cards, 12 slaps, and that's it. And the first two is not even the PSA, it's actually CGC. Um, these two I actually bought, I didn't sub them. I bought um, and I'm hoping to keep one of them and uh, maybe sell the other one or something but they are very nice so this one I don't mind sharing with you guys it's uh, Plasma Freeze Crosshatch Hollow it's the City Championship oh nice I like the hollow on this I don't know if you can see it here yeah I got a pair of uh, CGC 8s. I love the glitter on the hollow. Really nice. No subgrades, but uh, for EV lovers or those who like EVs, Evolutions, I think this is a very nice pair. This is the 2013 one from the 2013 Championship. Very nice. I like that. Okay, let's start with the proper sub. I have no idea what the first one is. Ah. <laughs> first edition Lugia. Uh, unfortunately, I already know this is not going to be a 10 because there are quite a bit of uh, issues on it. The front is more noticeable. This one is not so noticeable here. Hollow scratches and uh, the sides, and I think I s oh yeah, I don't know if you can see it here. Print lines as well, and I think if I'm not wrong, there should be a. I can't remember where it is. Yep, I see it. That should auto give me maybe a six or something or seven. <laughs> There's a issue on the. Uh, press anyway it is still the first edition and knowing that it's not going to get a 10 or 9 um, and yep quite accurate <laughs> excellent to min 6 still a beautiful card not often you find a first edition Lugia maybe you can see it over here as well the corner here uh, 
There's a crease there, mini crease there too. Otherwise, the back actually is quite nice. Not for that corner there. It would have probably got a lot higher grade. Quite clean the back. Shame. So that one's a six. Such a shame. Next one. Ooh. I personally think this is one of the better Charizard arts around. The Plasma Storm Secret Rare. I love the art. I think it's really, really, really nice. For me, this is probably one of the top three Zard arts that I like. Um, I don't remember if there's much issue with this. Yep, there is. A couple of whites here and there. Both corners. Okay. Hopefully this one gets a very very good grade off because Plasma Storm's art is definitely one of my favorites. Come on, give me some good numbers there. Oh, I see a near mean something there. Nine? Eight? Eight. Okay, okay, okay. Eight is still a very good grade for this. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll take it. Eight is very nice. Next one's Japanese. Ooh. Um, this full eye is also very beautiful. CP6, Secret Rare. High hopes for this one. It's pretty clean front and back. Um, I am hoping that it will get very good numbers for this. Very good grades for this. I like the whole set. CP6, the Blastoise, the Venusaur and the... Zard, but I don't have those two to grade. I only have this one to grade though, unfortunately. And this is going to be... Yes, thank you very much. Gemin 10. Perfect. Beautiful and perfect. Okay, I'm going to need more of the tens, please. More tens, please. And more Japanese ones to hopefully pull the tens in. <laughs> As we all know a lot of the Japanese cards, the QC quality is a lot better. I personally feel so. Okay, uh, top 3 Zard Art, I was saying this is definitely one of the top 3 for me as well. Oh, the art book one. Yeah, it's really weird, the recent alternate art, Venusaur and Zard again. It's like a continuation of that battle, you know. Why is Blastoise not in here by the way? Eh? Why is it always this too? <laughs> But to me, it's quite like a continuation of the current, uh, the newest uh, alternate art where you see Venusaur flying towards the... Uh, sorry, where you see Charizard flying towards the Venusaur. Um, I've got high hopes for this one as well. Hopefully, it follows the trend of the 10, please. And this one is a... <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The 10 is appreciated. Oh, this is beautiful. Has to be top three art, right? For Zard. How can you go wrong with these? Woo! Fire! Okay, another Japanese. Ah, Japanese base. Um, okay, we're not going to get tens on this. Definitely not going to get tens on this. I remember I've seen some issues with that. It's gone, not going to attend. Some scratches. Okay. But still, base art is base art. This time it's not the no rarity one. <laughs> I only have one of those. That's it. No more. Hmm. Unfortunately, too expensive now to buy. So hopefully we still get a pretty reasonable number of this. Okay, we got near mint mint. Eight, nine, eight. Okay, okay, okay. I'll accept this. Hmm. Uh, unfortunately, I don't see any swirl on this. Otherwise, it would be nice with a swirl as well. Hmm. I don't think I've got. 
add many more better condition base arts for the Japanese. So this may be the only highest grade I have left. Don't think the rest are worth grading. I'll have to think about it. Okay, more Japanese. Ah, I loved it for the Burning Shadows in English version. And I just have to have it in Japanese as well. Um, I like this, but it's not the top three for me. But I still like it a lot. I couldn't get a 10 for the uh, English version. Can this make up for it? Can this? No, it does not. <laughs> Mint 9. So close. So close yet so far. And here I was thinking that Japanese quality can easily to get 10. <laughs> Apparently not. I tell you, if you really don't know the names of these sets, uh, you will have never guessed what the heck is it to have seen Battle in the Rainbow. Jeez, man. So long the name. Burning Shadows, English one. So short, so easy <laughs> to remember. Too long winded. Hey, more vintage Japanese. This one is. Ooh. Uh, also among the cleaner. Koro Koro Mew, Shiny Mew that I have. Don't you just love that glitter? That glitter on that card is crazy. Okay, I have high hopes for this one as well. Um, it is a little bit heavy. Top to bottom. I don't expect a 10 out of this because of the borders being a bit skewed but I am hoping for a 9 at least because I don't see much else issue with this so the Shining Mew Koro Koro can you please get me a 9 at least oh no okay 8 okay I'll take the 8 oh such a beautiful card but unfortunately it's just an 8 maybe the skew is too much Hmm, perhaps. Because I remember the back is very, very clean. There's nothing wrong with the back at all. Okay, maybe the back as well is a little bit heavy on top compared to bottom. So both front and back, that's probably why I got an 8. Well, I was hoping for a 9, but I'll still accept the 8. I know it's not going to 10 anyway. Uh, oh, what is this? Back to English. Ah, okay. I think this is my last. Or is it my second last? Uh, Hidden Fates Charizard. The last one I got 10, and the last one was very meaningful because my son helped me to pull it on Father's Day. This one was after that, I think. And I also remember it's very clean. Hoping that it will build up some more 10s. So here is hoping for a Gemmin Tent OG Shiny Charizard. Come on, come on. Ca oh no, I don't see anything. It's it's a 9. Mint 9. Darn. Okay, I can live with that. I can live with that. Hidden Fates Zard is among my top favorites as well, but I can live with a 9. Pair of nines. Okay, nice. Alright, the last two cards. This is the reason why I sent this up. These two. Because there's nothing else. These two Japanese are the ones. Now it's very, very, very rare. Seriously rare. Why it's rare? I'll share with you. Um, let's see what's the first one. Let's see where's the first one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. As you can see, it's a gold star. Porion. Why rare? Rare not so much just because it's a gold star. Um, this is not the play promo. This is the World Champions Pack. Now the World Champions Pack unlimited version is the one that is rare. Not the first edition. First edition is a lot easier to get. 
Um, card is very clean when I sent over. I am hoping for at least a 9. The star hollow all over is really nice as well. And the back is seriously clean. There is a hidden... Maybe it's hard to see here. Uh, swirl right at the tip of the leg here. But most of the patch, um, three quarters hidden. Not so easy to see. So I am hoping for a good number of this. I'll go to why it is so rare. Ah, oh, shit. Damn it. That means it's eight or seven. Eight, at least then. Okay, okay, okay. Mm, okay, I really am hoping for nine at least. Okay, I'll go through why it's so rare afterwards. Now this one, I was hoping for 9. Unfortunately this, I already know something happened because I had to find out. Actually this one, I, I also know the, the, the grade already. This, these two are the main ones that I really, really had to know. The rest I don't know. So this one, actually I know the grade. And this as well. And this is a huge disappointment. The pair came to me that's really clean and I am actually really really hoping that they were both at least 9 unfortunately one of them was 8 didn't get the 9 I was expecting and this is the huge surprise now this is also World Champions pack also unlimited instead of the minimum 9 I got and maybe I'll end up with 8 or so I'll be happy it got me a, a stupid heartbreaking 6 I am very careful when I send cards over. Now this one, I'm in the middle of uh, communicating with PSA. Why? Because when it went there, you see the line there? Below the P, this line is not there. That stupid press line was not there when I sent over. I still have photos of it. But now that it's back as a 6 and this stupid line is there. <sighs> heartbreaking. And it has to happen on this unlimited version as well. Why is it rare? Okay. World Champions Pack. First edition is normally distributed to any one of those. Uh, well, in, the, in that year anyway. Uh, to 207 that you can buy it off uh, uh, shops and all that. But for this unlimited version, you only the participants of that uh, competition in 2007 can purchase it with your ID and you can only purchase it online. And what's making it even more rare is out of the place, there's only five sites for that year because they held it in multiple places in Japan. Five sites you can purchase it online. Out of the five sites that you can purchase it online, three of them closed uh, the competition because of bomb scare. So only two sites potentially you could buy it online. And only the ones bought online are unlimited. So this is how rare this is and how disappointing this is. Hmm. I don't know what's going to happen with PSA. I, I don't think they will do much about it from what I hear. So despite the photo proof that I have but unfortunately for the photo proof I don't have a angled shot that shows it's very clean I have a straight shot very stupid of me so with that in mind I will go and uh, cry a bit on this the rest I'm quite happy about happy with the 10s definitely still still very happy with the 9s I can accept the 8s this I already know. And my most precious two, this one. So on that note, I'm going to hide away and cry for a while. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> See you again next time. Bye.